This isn't a scene from a Hollywood movie, but a very real possibility for amputees to regain a fully functioning arm. Now, a robotic arm isn't new. What is will be the way it may soon operate. Well, new at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence with how amputees could have their lives changed with just a thought. In the last 10 years, nearly 6,000 veterans have lost their limbs, with more than 500 losing one or both arms. So-called bionic devices are keenly adapted at using computer-aided controls. We're able to control a prosthetic or a robotic arm simply by thinking about the movement. Funded by the National Institutes of Health, the aim is to one day implant a sensor chip in the brain to make that robotic arm work. At the prosthetics lab at the Veterans Administration, manager Rich Rodriguez can't wait. It's a dream that we all, as an amputee, you, you dream one day that you will be able to have that function. A marine at Camp Pendleton, Rodriguez in 1984 drove a truck like this one. When it rolled over, it cost him his left arm. I look at it, this used to be, well, this is mine. He initially had a prosthetic arm, which didn't do much, and then he got this. You flare the muscles a little quicker, and it knows that, and it knows to turn in or out, close or open. He's using his muscles to make his arm work. What the Institutes of Health and other researchers are working on is to implant a sensor chip in the brain. That sensor pick up the electrical impulses from a, a bunch of neurons. And each of those little neurons are like radio broadcast towers. A recent test allowed this woman to do something she hadn't done in 15 years, pick something up by just thinking about it. For Rich Rodriguez and others like it. Never did I think in my time that I would see this function and then plus what they're talking about now. Bob Lawrence, 10 News. Now that's neat. The implant is still in the early clinical trials, but the hope is to gain approval sooner rather than later.